we're hanging out with a lot of Spurs fans. I've got the unofficial mayor slash official, whatever you'd like to call him, Skip Bayless to my left. Stephen A. Smith, you, you've contaminated this crowd. You hear them Spurs and six. Jo joining me now, though, good friend, Miami Heat picker, Chris Broussard, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for him. <laughs> Welcome. So, Chris, much like Stephen A., you were at the game last night, and you heard our first, our first debate. What happened with LeBron? Well, first of all, let me say I'm overjoyed for my longtime friend Skip Bayless. Why is that? Because this is two years of pent-up frustration no. where yes, you yes. had to hold no. your tongue about LeBron no. and give him his props. And what, what, now what, you get to What, what go about all the end of him. game six last year when he came completely unglued? Well, he hit that three pointer. I remember uh, I know, that. But he had that three turnovers in the last six and, minutes. And, 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 and he missed the shot to tie. And they won the game, so you were yeah, limited. Exactly. I know, but this is the first time you've been yeah. unbridled and released. I just to react to what unrushed. I see. <laughs> oh, but I'll say this. Oh, God. The thing is, Skip, it sounded to me like your criticism is not really of LeBron, it's of. I guess the Heat training staff or whoever is in, he's not a doctor. Whoever's in charge of making sure he's hydrated. But, but you play IVs ball, Chris, you, you just learn early, you, you have to do this. You don't, to, you don't know as a player, you you rely on your training, your staff. How many years has he played now? What is well, it? Well, Stephen A. on the head, he has a history of cramping. I, we don't even know if it was the Heat because he's cramped in regular conditions. I was there in 2009 against Orlando in the playoffs. He cramped. We know Oklahoma City. Yeah. He Game cramped. Four. Detroit yep. in 2007. He cramped. So clearly, he has a history with this. And you haven't heard one athlete, okay, one real professional quick, real athlete, quick. say they could play through that. Okay, on Game Four when he cramped, then Stephen A., you and I were on Sports Center before Game Five. And you were making the case he might be hurt, like he might have a calf injury and he might not be able to go well, in game was, five. That was when he was struggling because he was limping or whatever the case may yeah. be. But the point is there's a difference between that and cramping. He's never been shy and he's never hid when he's when he's hurt. So was he hurt red. in game four or was he cramping in game four? Well, I think I'm talking about 2012. Yeah, I think yeah. there are different levels of cramping. You know, and I think clearly this appeared to be more severe. Maybe it was the cramping in combination with the heat or whatever. But you can't, this is the thing, we've seen LeBron struggle in the finals before. Even last year, he was hesitant at times, yeah. admitted himself he had doubts about his jump shot. Last night, you saw none of that. Nope. He was playing tremendously. Even his last play, he goes aggressively he to did. the hole, scores. The three-pointer he hits in the It, it was a big time three. At the I rim. would agree. So... You can't, this isn't something where you can say, oh, the pressure got to him or this or that. I think his body just failed him at the, obviously, an inopportune time. Even Isaiah Thomas told Yahoo, who played yes. through maybe the best performance no ever in finals history. Yeah. Yep. 25 points in the third quarter on that bad ankle. Although I think Michael's flu game was up there with it. But go ahead. I, uh, look, I don't want to diminish what okay. Michael did. But like Stephen A. said, a flu, an ankle, that's different than if your body is cramped up and you just really can't move. Here's all you need to know. And this is the point that I didn't bring up earlier. There was a play when LeBron James went in. I forget whether he missed or made the layup. But San Antonio is running back down the court on offense, and he stood on the baseline, and they had to come get him. Now, I'm going to ask you this question. That was the layup. I, I think that, that was when he, was that I, when he tried to block I, 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 No, 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 no. He, went, it was on, he was on offense. Went to the layup. And then stood, stood on the baseline That's while San Antonio's offense went. What I'm saying to you is, yeah. does LeBron James not get back on defense? When have we ever seen that? We don't see that. He always, if nothing else, he gets back on defense. A matter of fact, when you're on a break, you're looking for LeBron because one of the things he specializes in is coming out of nowhere to block your shot, particularly on a break. So what I'm saying to you is that the fact that he wasn't even willing to get back on defense. Right. And you had the Wayne Wade of all people with all of his injuries right. that he's had to deal with over the last couple of years, literally telling them, come get him, come get him. You know, I mean, listen, it's just one of those situations that's bad. It was inescapable, it's undeniable. I'm not talking about the series. LeBron James at his best with the Miami Heat, they could still lose to San Antonio regardless of what we're picking. But there's no denying that those cramps crippled him and just eviscerated okay, the chance Chris, that help he me out the with game. this because you know this man very well. Seven and a half minutes left. 
LeBron misses a three over from the, the wing. Dial ran at him. He missed it. And then as the play went on back to the other end, he immediately turned to Spolstra and says, take me out, coach. It, to me, this is just me, because he's such a great player and such a good guy, this is showing a little bit of melodramatic mental weakness. Nobody does that. He made such a show of, take me out, coach. And, and it was more because he was gassed at that point than cramping. I didn't see cramps yet. I, I don't like that for his sake. It doesn't look good to your teammates. I don't think it looks good to fans everywhere because big time superstar players don't react that way. Coach, I'm gassed, take me out. And he makes such a big display out of it. That's, that, it just drives me a little crazy because I, I, don't, I don't not like him. Yeah. I, I'm fine when he plays great. I am. I come in and say, boy, that was a great game by LeBron. And he did some great things last night. But when his team needed him most, I don't get that kind of behavior. It's melodramatic to me. I mean, if he's really, whether he was cramping, I know there were players saying he had, they heard him say he couldn't breathe at times last okay. night. Yeah. So I don't know Different if it was issue. fatigue. Yeah. All right. I, I remember looking at him maybe a, just five minutes into the game, and he, he was down on his shorts. He looked like he was spent. And I was like, wow, this is early. I didn't even know at that point that the air conditioning was Have we not was seen off. three or four games even this playoff run when he looked a little mentally gassed? Well, no, no. He's I don't know about mentally. I, I just thought I, I physically. Physically. I think physically okay. he either way. Physically, either way. Way. physically he's looked gassed. He's had to carry a huge role. He's been asked to do everything in terms of playing multiple positions, which is one of the reasons he's considering leaving Miami because he ain't trying to stay okay. in a situation where he's being asked to do so much. Not that he's going to end up leaving because I'm still betting my money on him staying but in the end when you're asked to do so much and you're looking at the second part of your I career agree sure. you got to think yep. you got to take those things into consideration but sure. all i'm saying to you is this still and all when you look at it cramping is cramping it and is we're going to talk I'll about that well you know what he's demonstrative or whatever well you know what if there's ever a reason to be demonstrative is when you're cramping. It's not like you sit there and twist your ankle. Ah, ah, come save me. You know what I'm saying? When you're cramping. But when you're cramping, you feel like that. You're like, Lord, have mercy. Somebody help me. I can't move. I mean, it's, 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 it's really paralyzing. It's what happened to him. And, okay? and I, look, what happened? I can't say, nobody can say definitively that the Heat would have won that game. I believe but they I don't think you can say definitively they would have lost that game. They're up two when LeBron first goes out. He comes back in, or they're up four. Mm -hmm. He comes back in, they're down two. Mm -hmm. When he leaves the game for good, they're down two. Spurs go on a 16-3 to three run. Danny Green, who LeBron had been guarding for much of the game, oh, yeah. no field goals through right. three quarters. Fair. He goes, he scores all 11 of his points in the fourth quarter when LeBron's out oh. in a three-minute Oh, by the stretch. way, Skip, I forgot to bring this up. He was guarding Danny Green, but you know what happened? Manu Ginobili comes off the bench, hits two threes. All of a sudden, LeBron's guarding him. Then, 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 then Manu doesn't score, but Marco Bellinelli That's comes right. and scores eight points. Then right. LeBron is on him. So I'm just saying, let's let's remember the all. This isn't Kevin Durant, the scoring machine. This is LeBron James, the all-purpose dude. Whatever you need, I can fix your problem. And he wasn't there when it counted. You more. know what I do love about this conversation? You know what team is now going to feel slighted going to game two? Oh, okay. My San. Antonio Spurs because they're going to hear all this talk. They're going to hear that oh, if LeBron had finished the game you guys had I, I, no I, I, chance I, 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 I of winning. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I would like to make this point. You and all your little compatriots over here. Thank you. Let me tell you something. Thank you. Now, allow me, allow me allow me to say Mayor, Mayor of San Antonio uh -huh. allow me uh -huh. to say uh -huh. in front of all of y'all <laughs> This is what makes y'all look weak. Oh boy. You want every little advantage that you can get. If, if you're the best, if you're the best, you should want dudes at their best. So when you win, there is no doubt. As opposed to you, I'm hoping this guy gets hurt. I'm hoping that guy can't play. I want San Antonio to get here. I, I, this is what wait, you've been wait, doing wait, for wait. I had to go into last months. year's finals with Tony Parker with a pulled hamstring. Did you guys, did I hear you say, oh, you guys weren't at full strength. The Spurs weren't Dwayne at full strength. Dwayne Wade was banged up last okay. year, too. All right. That's why. And speaking of Dwayne Wade, I'm glad you brought him up. <laughs> His start last night was breathtaking yep. for yes. me. Yes, it was. I was saying, uh-oh, that guy is back. That Didn't D miss Wade a shot guy. in warm-up. Oh. Didn't miss a hey, shot. He was so explosive. He looked so healthy. And I must admit, I'm sitting there thinking, I might be in trouble tonight because of that guy. Right. Down the stretch, 
your X Factor, Chris Bosch, who also made some big time he shots in that girls. game. Yep. But not late. Bosch, D Wade, late. No. Nope, weren't there when when they needed him most because they still have a pretty good team without yeah, sure. LeBron James. It's still pretty good. But it throws you off when you're used sure to playing does. through this guy all the time. And then he's not there. And it's against the Spurs. You know, it's not against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Spurs started moving the ball well. They were hitting. They were on fire as far as hitting jump shots. And they moved so many players around offensively that I think I, I'm not ready to make a blanket statement that Dwayne and Bosch couldn't carry them or can't carry them when LeBron's out. They it was it one game. Night. Exactly. Right. It they was just, just one game. Quick, well, hold on quickly before he gets out of here. Uh, after what you saw last night, he's still going with the Heat. You I can't talked change. About this, I don't honest. change my pick. I, I, I stick with my pick. Heat and six. Six? Also, wait. That means the Heat have to win. Help me with the math here. Four out of the next yeah, yeah. five. Ooh. You something, They, huh? they would have wow. won. They, they, I'm 80%, 85% sure they would have won last night if LeBron had played. They came here for a split. They know mainly. 85 they get a split. Me. The Heat would have won the daggone game last night. I am 100 percent sure the Spurs would have won All right, if gentlemen. LeBron had played last night. We leave it there. Give it up for Chris Broussard. <laughs> At the pick'em board, three chips for you guys. Who's ball?